one of the world's largest cool climate gardens is found just outside Oberon. The privately owned Mayfield Garden is quite simply a masterpiece of landscape design and engineering on a genuinely grand scale. My journey starts here at the superb six acre water garden with the Mayfield obelisk at its very heart. From the amazing stone bridge where the creek that feeds it begins, the water falls down through 11 metres of cascading mazes, a delight to wander. Apparently there are lots of surprises to discover in this 35 acre garden, like this beautiful copper tree fountain. It was acquired in 2008 at London's Chelsea Flower Show and the water trickles out through its leaves in stunning effect. The entire garden is influenced by the formal stately gardens of England and Europe, a growing, living symphony, a commitment to leave a legacy for both the founding Hawkins family and the visiting public. As I meander uphill towards the rest of the garden, I cross some distinctly Roman-style cobbles and marvel at the beauty of the garden. Whilst it's been inspired by great gardens around the world, it really has come into its own. Hopefully we're, we're providing people with a journey as you walk through the garden, much like you would find a journey through a piece of music. Flowing down the hillside into the water garden is the creek, with its wonderful stone bridge, a place of supreme serenity. So I'm almost halfway through the garden, and the immensity of this design feat is just starting to sink in. Luckily, there are lots of beautiful spots to stop and gather your thoughts. Running alongside here is a grove of birches. Literally hundreds of ghostly white trunks create a stunning visual presence against the lush green backdrop. That element of creating privacy within the expanse is evident here, an idea at the core of Mayfield's vision. There's nothing native though, which means sympathetic environmental management has been a priority. The formal part of the garden that surrounds the main house, it's about feeding the main house. It's producing cut flowers and vegetables and the fruit, the nuts. Our aim here on, on Mayfield Garden is to, where possible, to produce something on site. All of the ironwork that you see, the beautiful aviary, it's actually all produced on site. A little higher up the hill, the nuttery sits beside beautiful Tuscan-style walls. The exterior landscape terraces divert cold winds and the protective warmth of the walls creates a microclimate for organic produce. A short stroll then takes you to the amazing cascade. Water descends 80 metres in a series of steps from a hilltop crowned by white neoclassical pillars beneath a black dome. From here, we look down into the peaceful amphitheatre. On the way to the very top of the garden, we pass an area currently in design destined to become a splendid moss canyon, no attempt is made to hide the worksite, as the Hawkins family sees the entire creation as a work in progress. A garden does take quite a lot of time to evolve, but that's where we encourage people to come here now and be a part of the evolution of the garden from its very early days. It's about bringing to life the commitment and passion of everyone that's involved. As I reach the highest point of the garden, I am greeted by the incredible blue stone construction of the family chapel. It certainly is a perfect place for sanctuary. From here you seem to float above the trials and tribulations of modern life. What an outlook. The garden is specifically designed to show spring and autumn at their best. Mayfield Garden opens just six weekends a year. Sealed road access is via Oberon. Details at mayfieldgarden.com.au